What is going on, everybody? This is Ponage Machine here, and uh, I need to apologize real quick for the audio because I'm sure this is screwed up. I am trying to do a live commentary here, and right now I'm kneeing by the side of my bed with a, my commentary headset sitting on my bed. And I got my Turtle Beach over here. I was trying to do a Turtle Beach commentary, like use the headset, but I figured I gotta buy some dumb cables. So, what I'm gonna do is I turn the mic sensitivity on high, like the highest it can be. So I apologize that this intro is loud since I'm actually trying to talk into this mic right now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my Turtle Beaches on so I can hear the sound because when I use my commentary headset, I do not hear the sound. And that can really ruin my gameplay. So just give me a quick second here. I'm going to set up my audio thing real quick. A little tangled cord here. Give me a quick sec. All right. Hopefully this audio right here will work pretty good. So I'm going to put my throw bitches on now. Alright, so here we go. What this is going to be, is this is going to be a gold, Road to Gold Gun series. And um, what that means is, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to get enough points, unlock a gold gun, since now I'm 15th prestige and everything, which is awesome. Level 22, got 50,000 COD points. I actually had 50,000 COD points at like level... 17 and I couldn't buy a weapon camo yet so had to wait a little bit for that so I have not bought any kill streaks or any of that yet had some contracts but re relatively kept the um, kept the classes pretty simple so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the gold mp5k here so what I'm gonna do also is I am going to do my first gameplay using gold gun so hopefully this goes well I have no idea what to expect from this, but look at that gold. Okay, that was really gay. Anyways, I think we will do some domination, since that is probably what I'm best at. Anyways, I still hope the audio is doing okay here. Hopefully I don't get stuck in the game though. So, yeah. Anyways, I think I'll just keep on recording here. And why not, you know? Um, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. You know, every view means a lot to me. Every subscriber, especially, and stuff. I try to put a lot of work in my videos. And it's just, I have fun doing this. I mean, these videos are always fun for me to do. And hopefully, I don't know if I'll figure out, like, how to do, um, like, using my turtle beaches and do it like that. Because I don't know how good the audio is going to be here. So, like I said, I apologize for that right now. Just mute everybody who joins here. But, um, I just, I love doing these videos, honestly. You know, it's just kind of something for me that, it's, it's kind of an escape for me. You know, if I have some personal issues that I've had in the past, like, you know, they come up. I kind of use Xbox as just, you know, a way to get away from all that stuff. I'm trying to make the mic closer here, if that's possible. Um, I guess I can kind of hold it like that. Yeah, it's not bad. Hopefully the audio is a little better now. I don't know. This might sound weird. Anyways, you know, give a shout out to um, Gamma Gamma 16 you know, he's one of my better friends on Xbox, and he has certainly helped me out. I mean, today he's sending me messages right now of people who, um, you know, big subscriber counts who are offering for videos to be put on their channel. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect. <laughs> I'm sitting here. I got my turtle beaches on. I got one leg kicked up on the bed. And I got this whole thing working out. So anyways, like I said, I'm going to be using my gold MP5K. And I don't know how long this video will be. Hopefully it will be entertaining you guys. And certainly, you know, Watching this video, Firing Range is probably my, say my number two map. No, oh, it's my number one. That's right. New Newtown. Nah, I'm not much of a Newtown fan anymore. Kind of gets annoying, you know. Everybody's like new tubing and checking grenades. I'm gonna show you one of the better grenade spots that I know in this game right here towards A. Most people probably know it already, but you know why not go for it again? I think I'll probably hit like. It's kind of hard to hit because you gotta angle it right. But let's see if I can do it. Ah, hit marker. Fight jacket users. That's okay. Ah, no ghost here. Oh, I see you. I see you. Ah, no. Yes, sir. There we go. Get a challenge. That's a good way to start a match. And then kind of move over here. You know they're going to move their spawns over here. I already grabbed my spy plane. I think there's a ghost guy sneaking around towards this side. Or just fight jacket guy. Let's uh, cut down this alleyway. Oh, this guy's going to circle around here probably. Yep. Thank you, buddy. Already 5-0. Oh, what, the, what are you doing? Oh, man, and the guy got me. That, that was the same flag jacket guy I killed like four or five times in a row, whatever it was. So, I was... He kind of owed me... Oh, whoa. Oh, ammo, dang it. Oh, well. 
Not a big deal. I don't usually what, what I get in the care package just phase me. Because it's not a big deal, really. There's another. I thought there was somebody. Captain B there, but there wasn't. Whoa! No! Oh, man! Almost, almost finished it off there, but... Oh, I just wasted that spy plane, but big whoop. Doesn't matter. It's a spy plane. Probably get like another ten of them. Throw a grenade over there at that building. I don't know where they are now. Let's throw a smoke. I always use these smoke grenades that I got as decoys. Because, you know, they're, they're that's what they are. You know, people are like, ooh, smoke grenade. Somebody's trying to walk over here. Not necessarily the case. There's a drop shot. Uh, that's something I'll do usually as a panic move. Is drop shot somebody? Sorry if I'm interrupting my commentary. I'm trying to, you know, play and do all this stuff at the same time. I think this guy's got a flat jacket, so I'm just going to use this grenade to kind of push him back if it hits him anyway, which it doesn't. I think my teammate took care of him, which, good job, teammate. Um, I won't let me pick up any ammo. Oh, there we go. Pick up a scavenger pack. This is what I do. I'm trying to let you guys know my strategy. Dang it. Oh, you mother fricker. That's so many of them do that, you know. They're always got to sit in corners. They got the Flight Jacket Pro. Oh, shoot. Got to get away from that. Oh, the guy died. That's good. He didn't deserve to live in this corner. Um, but yeah, what I'm going to try to do is cycle through my thoughts on this match. Hopefully I'll get a pretty good score, which it's looking like I will right now, but it's beginning of the match. I've had matches where I'll go 10 to 0 and then finish like 12 and 30. Nah, not that severe, but, but uh, you know what I'm saying. You know, it can all change. It all depends who, who joins, who leaves, who does what. Watch me outplay this guy. Oh, whoa, whoa. No, sir. All right, pick up a spy plane. Let's throw up. Get some more XP. Probably, usually, guys circle around here, like this guy. Oh, two guys. Let's pull out a grenade and just push them back a little bit. Probably won't kill anybody, yeah. That's what I expected. Um, that guy's not going to come through here. See, this is what I do. Good spawn trap spot. I know a lot of people probably know this one. But, just going to point out what I know. Just some good tips and... Is there anything to help people get better at Call of Duty, you know? That's my new motto that, I, that I've been thinking of recently, especially playing Black Ops. It's just, it's not the games that are bad. It's honestly the community that ruins them. Okay, there's, I can hear the guy. He's, he's using Ghost and a silencer. He just reloaded his gun in here. So I'm going to wait back. He's probably got a good corner camp spot going here. So I think he's holding a grenade. Better get out of here. Let's throw a decoy smoke on B just to help my teammates out. All right, let's get in here. Jump over. Oh, man, almost got that guy. Almost got the guy, but I didn't, so. No biggie, you know. Sometimes you outplay some guys. Sometimes you don't. Sometimes your connection helps you. Sometimes it hurts you. It's all, that's that's just one thing about this game, you know. What's your connection? I mean, your connection's either, it's going to help you or it's really, really going to hurt you. It all just depends on what's going on. See, that's what I do. I usually jump, trying to make sure that I'm jumping over claymores and stuff. And, yeah. So if you're wondering why I keep doing that, oh, guy's circling back around here. He's going to come back up here. Did he kill me? Oh, my teammate got him. That's okay. Good job, teammate. Appreciate it. Hey, man, that's my flag. Get off my flag, man. Oh, my goodness. See, that's... I don't know if you can call that me getting outplayed or him out or just luck or ghost scrub, but you know what? It's no big deal. It happens, you know. It's a video game for oh, see that that was a really bad idea. That's one thing about me. When you watch my videos, you're gonna see a really aggressive gameplay. Oh, dang it! Freaking panic knife didn't work. Twenty and eight, not bad. But um, somebody just read the same turret over there. Yeah. But I am really aggressive. This this is not my style to sit up here and do this, especially with a gun like an MP5. You know, it's just itching to go out there and run around a little bit. thought that was an enemy there. Ooh, kind of panicked there. I usually get a little trigger happy on reloading. 
which is kind of weird. I'm trigger happy to reload. Yeah. I usually reload after I get a kill or just after shooting for a little bit. Except when I'm doing when I'm getting shot at like this. Oh, oh see, that drop shotting works sometimes. Other times it, it doesn't. But it's just I don't know. It's all a video game, you know. I, I don't take any of this stuff personally. Sometimes if I play really late at night, you know, I'll like <laughs> I'll just go crazy. Like I was playing one time and I got on. I was playing on like Crisis, I think it was, and I think I was playing with some friends and these guys were all like corner camping like crazy, right? So that usually kind of pisses me off just normally, but when I'm when I'm playing at one in the morning and I'm freaking tired, I'm dropping f bombs left and right. Oh, I know you're there. Uh, I'm probably gonna ki kill you through a wall. Nope. Let's see. And both them guys dead. Yeah, they're both dead. So let's go check out the scene over here. Probably pushing too far in their spawn, but probably pushing back behind B here. That's a nice little headshot. Dang, bad accuracy there, but that's okay. Happens. Oh shoot, I'm out of ammo. Let's pick up this commando. Perfect placement there, buddy. Whoever dropped this. Appreciate it. Let's pull back a little bit here. Let that guy walk out in the open. That's how you play it right there. You gotta let what the enemies kill themselves, you know. It's kinda like it's kinda like me when I'm pitching. Like if somebody's crowding the plate, man. They they hit themselves when I when I will throw inside, push them off. You know usually, I give them I'll give them a you know kind of a warning, like heads up. Be like, hey man, that's my play. You better get off of it. Sometimes like when I was pitching in Florida, you get these kids, who that's what they're trying to do. They're trying to intentionally crowd the plate and they're trying to take away that from the umpire. So for this instance in Florida, you know, I was um, pitching. Let's see, call it, get this out of the way. But I was, obviously I was pitching and um, this little kid comes up and you know, this is a team that, in, whoa, team that ended up winning the tournament and this little kid, you know, crowds the plate just being crazy. So first pitch, fastball inside, debatable strike and I don't get the call, right? So that kind of, that gets to me, you know, I don't, I hate getting squeezed, especially by little short kids because me being tall. I don't like short kids. Whoa! Panic knife. Hey, thanks for the Valkyrie rockets. Oh, you can have them. I don't care. I don't, I'm not good with Valkyrie rockets anyway, so probably more XP for you to take them anyway. But, um, so this little kid, you know, he's out there. He's like, hey, I'm going to take your plate away from you. I'm like, I'm like, hell no, man. Screw you. So next pitch, fastball up in the eyes, right? It's definitely a warning. It's like, you better get off. And this kid, you know, the chalks, there's probably like four inches of chalk room. And this kid was, I'm not even joking, right on the plate. Just sitting on there like a total, complete idiot, oblivious to those last two pitches. So I'm like, dude, you hit yourself. And I just pegged him right in the back. There's a kill. Let's see. I thought I saw another enemy over here. Let's throw up the spy plane. Well, there is somebody. I'll just spray a little bit. Oh, darn. Oh, well. Assist. And there it is, guys. I think pretty good gameplay, 34 and 11. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope the audio is not too bad. So I apologize for that. And maybe I'll figure this out or, like, maybe I'll buy a new cord or whatever it is I need. Or maybe if this is good enough, you know, hey, maybe I'll do this more often. So anyways, let's let me go ahead and stand up and end this. But I appreciate all you guys for watching and, you know, 